What's happening everybody? My name is Stephen Walker. You're watching Walker Outdoors Adventures. And this video is a lot different. This is the day after Hurricane Milton has came through Central Florida. And I'm sitting in my backyard in a little chair. Big old tree down behind me. That's my well pump back there. My shed's underwater. Air conditions underwater. My home is high and dry. It was real close though. You'll see it in this video. And that's what this video is about. The day after Hurricane Milton, I went and stayed at my brother's. And uh, just that daylight, I, I tried to get back home. And I caught a little bit of that on video. So hopefully y'all find this interesting because uh, <laughs> it was interesting making this video. Oh boy, enjoy. Look how flooded that crap is. Holy cow. There's power here. Don't go that way, that's down 92. Woo. Let's see how far we can get. Man, it is flooded, y'all. Houses are underwater. This is on Galloway Road by 92. Houses are underwater. I see some cars with flashing lights up here. I don't know if I can get any further. We'll see. It's taken me uh, about 45 minutes to get to here when it should normally take about 10. Look at it flooding. Oh boy. Just historic flooding. I don't even know if anybody's in that car. I gotta stop and see. No, there ain't nobody in it. Crazy, man. Crazy. Dang it, man. Never seen nothing like this. We should be coming up on uh, I-4 here in just a few. I got a truck up in front of me. I'm kind of following his lead. Just taking it easy. I tried to get all of my wife to let her know that... Uh, do not come this way in her car, for sure. So. They're bringing out swamp buggies to come get people because they're gonna need it. It's flooded. The sheriff has their own. Never seen nothing like this. I got my seatbelt off just in case when I was going through that flood back there, I could just get out. I wasn't trying to deal with no seat belt. I only got a few more miles and I'll get to my rental property and I expect it to be super flooded. And we'll see if I can make it to my house. And then I gotta go check on my mother-in-law. I was trying to make it to my rental property and I couldn't make it. Uh, there was trees down that way so I went another way. I'll come back to that property. I'm gonna try to get to my mother-in-law's and get to uh, my house and see what that looks like but I'm telling y'all I ain't never seen nothing like this before I knew it could happen though I've seen it really wet out here and I've seen homes flooded but I've never seen it this bad so uh I'm gonna go home and check on my stuff still haven't got a hold of my wife to let her know do not come and uh I'm gonna break out the chainsaw and see if I can start helping some people Hell of a time to be a Floridian. Y'all check this out. I've never seen nothing like this. God dang. The whole railroad bed is washed out. Look at that. The entire railroad bed is washed out. Right here on First Street. Never seen nothing like that. Goodness. 
When I tell y'all it's bad around here, it is bad. Holy moly, we are flooded. There's some wind damage, but mostly water. Man, I'm getting close to being in my house. Let's see what that looks like. like I'm about to drive under a tree just to get into the neighborhood oh boy we got work to do man this storm has kicked our irises <laughs> oh man All right, y'all, here we are pulling up to my property. It looks underwater. This is my house. Oh, boy. Dang it, man. Well, the house is there. Got some trees down that I can see. Oh, my power poles fell down. We ain't gonna have power for a hot minute. I can't even run the generator because the pole's on the ground. Oh, this ain't good, y'all. Backyard's totally flooded. All that stuff's tore up. Air conditioning's totally underwater. Trampolines tied to the tree. Golly, y'all. It's gonna be a minute for this one. All right, let's check this place out. I can't even, I don't know. I don't even have no words for this. Power poles on the ground, so that, you know, I can't even run a generator here. about power lines and electric wires so I won't be messing with that this is gonna take weeks and weeks and months this is my yard we lost some tin up there there was another generator in there that blew up last generator or last hurricane My lawnmower's in there, flooded. Hopefully the well pump, it looks like, I don't know, I don't even know. Got trees down, I'm flooded. Not looking good. I gotta be perfectly honest with y'all. I'm a little emotional over this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, once the water goes out, then maybe I can start making some progress, but right now, there ain't anything I can do. Inside my house is dry. And I can, I can run power to my refrigerators and stuff, so instead of just to the, uh, the power box, how I was gonna do, so I could have access to more electricity. So I got a couple of generators to run 
don't know, a window unit, a couple refrigerators. Sun's coming out. It's something else, y'all. I really don't even know what to do. I mean, I'm gonna go get my truck and go check on my mother-in-law. I tried to get a hold of my wife, tell her not to drive over here because she's in a smaller car. It's gonna drown out. Hopefully she don't. I don't know how long it's gonna take this water to go down. Oh, I got minnows in my yard. Check this out. There's minnows swimming on my steps. I don't know. If it was a little drier, I could probably pick up or... Honestly, I'd probably just undo the uh, lines off the power pole and plug my generator in still, but it's just too wet. Oh boy, let's go check out the front porch. All right, so here's the front porch. <laughs> this ain't good. We gathered everything up that was hanging and put it down low. Pretty depressing, y'all. I was hoping to come home and at least hook the generator up and I don't know have a decent place to wait it out tell me what y'all think <laughs> oh might as well grab some skis and hook a rope to a bumper and just go have some fun for a bit all right, y'all, I made it over to my rental property in the shop here. Looks like the lady's trailer's gonna be okay. Lots of flooding. The shop, the, on one of the awnings, the tree come down, took it down. The corner of the shop is busted up where the tree come down and it's flooded. It's flooded in here. You can see the watermark. The watermark on the wall was at least eight inches higher. The water's going down somewhere, but it's gonna be forever because this property was already holding water. I don't know. We'll figure out a way to get through it. Well, y'all, it's come down to me breaking the canoe out to get around the yard. So I'm making a plan here. My power pole's down in the water, and I'm trying to get the breaker box up out of the water so I can hook my generator to it. So I do have an A-frame sitting in my yard here that I'm going to get a, a come-along lift, chain hoist, and I'm going to hook it to that pole, and I'm going to pull it up. And... uh Hopefully I'll be able to hook my generator to it. And hopefully my well will work. I don't know, it's underwater, but the, I don't know. That's the plan. But for now, we can uh, canoe around the yard. <laughs> oh boy, this is something else. You can laugh about it, you can cry about it. I mean, you can hear generators, chainsaws. It's all, it's all happening right here in Kathleen, Florida. We got pummeled. Pummeled, I tell you. Good night. There's my wife right there. We got the uh, little generator on the refrigerators for now, so we're good with that. But I have got work to do on both properties. All right, we're out here canoeing around in the yard. <laughs> oh, man. The old tree houses falling down at least the trees ain't falling there's our there's our trampoline them things are just 
made to be blown around in the wind, I guess. There's our tree, uh, Christmas tree stand. Cheyenne, get the Christmas tree stand. Pick it up. <laughs> oh, what do you think, man? I think it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us. All right, we're about to move the safe frame over there. All right, y'all. Well, we had some success. I've actually got electricity power to the house. <laughs> uh, a little bit of unconventional way of doing it, but we don't go too close to that area right there. But the old generator in the back of the truck is humming. And I got her uh, wired in right there. Service is turned off. I should have just pulled the whole breaker out, to be honest with you. Uh, pole snapped over, but the old A-frame has got it up out of the water. And then uh, my daughter let the canoe just float away. Huh, we'll have to get after her about that. So we're making do. We're hoping this water will go down within the next week or so because I don't really know where it goes. <laughs> there ain't a whole lot of places for it to flow. Uh, luckily, this house here really doesn't have any damage. It seems to be dry inside. All the windows are there. And uh, we'll get by with this one. As far as the shop goes, that's going to be a task to get some electricity back to it and uh, actually dry it out. We're going to have to squeegee the whole floor, probably rip the carpets out of the little apartment area. Get some air going through there so it doesn't get so moldy and mildew. We're dealing with it. I'll show y'all a little bit of the tree damage through here. You got this big tree down in the backyard. It ain't nothing I can really do about it. It's not hurting anything now, so it'll stay, but I'm not dealing with this stuff whenever uh, there's this much water in the backyard. The trees are all down. All them trees are down. That's all tree laid over trees. But uh, my uh, citizen's band antenna it fell down. I had a base station. It didn't make it. I took the awning cover off of this, so I'll be able to put it back up. So we'll see how that goes. Man, it's something to deal with. I tell you what, we'll get through it. So as you can see, that was a bit of a different video, and I uh, don't even really know how I'm gonna get it online, upload it. I don't have any Wi-Fi, don't have any service on my phone, can't call, can't text. One thing I can do because I was a little bit prepared when I go hiking and stuff is I got to use my uh, my Garmin inReach to let everybody know that I don't have any service here in my house. So they're worth the money. You know, I, I go hiking all the time. I use it for uh, in case of an emergency and you can text somebody anywhere in the world anytime and it paid off today i was able to let my brother know that i made it home that you know the place is somewhat livable but yeah that's a few things i've learned and i appreciate y'all watching my videos hopefully it gets better from here we'll see y'all